Good evening, I'm James David. And I'm David James. And we're here today from the Broadcasting Company. Today, a small task force of Argentinian soldiers opened fire against British workers working on an oil rig just off the Falkland Islands. Reports from the area suggest that two members of the workforce are seriously injured. The Argentinian government are claiming that the United Kingdom have flouted the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea in relation to this oil rigging. The Argentine authorities state further that attacks will continue unless the United Kingdom pulls out all members of its country from the area. The United Kingdom are rejecting all of these claims. Peter, what's your assessment of the situation on the ground as things stand? Thanks, Akbar. The situation is tense, it's tight, and frankly we do not know what is going to happen. The Argentine authorities are sending out mixed messages. The English authorities are understandably tense. All we know is that the local civilians are worried for the future of Las Malvinas. And how have the British authorities on the island re responded? Well, Imhotep, the British government have been quite coy currently. They're waiting on further developments to become clear. They're waiting on further information. What is, however, clear is that they will and can escalate to military confrontation. However, it must be stressed that the UN has a key role to play in any further developments in order to make any military action legal and binding. Does it look like there's going to be any further violence? Juan, the situation is very unstable. We are unclear as to whether there will be violence or whether there won't be violence. There have been sporadic protests in and around the area and the Falklands seem to be bunkering down for the long haul conflict. Thank you, Peter. Thanks very much. Buenas noches. It's back to you in the studio. Peter, you've added nothing. I've been Engelbert Smith. And I've been Smithy Engelbertson. Good evening.